How much do you think you weigh? I have no clue. Six oh five. The size of the animal right now didn't happen overnight. It's my fault that I'm this size. I let it get out of control, but I know it can change. I have to. What's been going on with you? I did get down to the 550, mm -hmm. but then I pandemic and everything happened. Just the healthier foods are a little harder to find. So what kind of things are you eating now? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Last time we met, Tammy was off of her weight goal. She was not really doing the things that she needed to do. I didn't approve her for surgery. My hope was that she would take that back home with her, use that as motivation to double down and start doing those things that she needed to do. Unfortunately, she's kind of gone the other way with it. Careful. All right, 5.95. Tammy's gained nearly all the weight back that she had gotten off, so we are literally starting all over from scratch with her. I've done the best that I can do. I've given Tammy multiple chances, but at this point, something has to change. It's clear that I just can't keep her as a patient. Now that we've got everybody gathered, I want to talk to you all. I'm worried about Tammy. I'm afraid that the longer this goes, your mobility is going to go away. As soon as you can't walk, that's going to be the end of it for you. All right, so I'm going to refer her to one of my bariatric surgery colleagues up in Kentucky so that she can be watched a little more closely. I'm really worried about you because your chances of dying in the next five years are about 80% if nothing happens. Tammy, how do you feel like you've been doing with your diet? Not good. Not good? How come? I mean, I had lost the weight, but then COVID got me, and after I got out of hospital, I just kind of gave up, and I don't know. Let's go ahead and step on the scale and see where you are. So we are 21 pounds higher than what we were last time, correct? It's like, come on, girl, are you even really trying? Because if you were, I could understand a pound or two. But every time she steps on the scale, she has 20 pounds. 20 pounds. I'm like, damn. Why do you think that is? I just wasn't doing what I needed to do. I mean, sometimes I try to eat healthier, and in other days, I'm like, what the heck's the point? So after you've made those bad choices, how do you feel? Even more depressed, because I know I should say they I need it all, but I do. I don't know how to stop. OK. That's honest. Not so much that you're hungry, but it's an addiction that you have of needing that food to fulfill maybe when you're down or sad or something missing in your life. I think that's maybe something that we need to talk about and deal with. Today, I was finally able to get Tammy to admit to me that she's not able to do what she needs to do, and she's admitting that it's really hard to stop eating. It's not just the issue of teaching Tammy what to eat and what not to eat, but I think we're dealing with a much bigger problem, such as a food addiction. What is it? You first. Why? Sorry. I mean, I know you'd rather have pizza or something. Oh, this is nasty. 
but this is gonna help me in the long run. When Jerry's eating something I'm not supposed to, I do find myself craving it. I understand her struggle, but I like sugar. Do you feel bad though bringing that into the house? No, I don't feel bad about it. I ain't, I ain't trying to lose no weight. <laughs> I need to gain some. And to be perfectly honest, I know Jerry helps around the house a lot, but I also know he contributes to your diet being unhealthy. Not anymore. We've been doing this diet together for months, and your weight has went up instead of down. I've been trying. Y'all ain't here every day. You're right, I'm not, because I have a life of my own. But I also know. But I'm not gonna have y'all attacking him. I'm not attacking him. I know you love him, fine. And I respect that. But at the same token, he does not need to be your enabler. He's not. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. The other Plus day I come in here and he cooked a meatloaf the size of this pan for you too. Okay, doesn't mean I ate it that day. Tell me you got a food addiction. Don't sit there and play no bull games with me. Today, I want to talk to the administrator, Kelly, because I made a big decision. Okay, Tammy, we're eight weeks in, and I wanted to see where you were thinking about. Not, I mean, I'm homesick. I miss my bed. I miss my family. So I think I'm ready to go. I want to try to get the rest of the way off on my own. I've been here long enough. I've seen what to do. I just got to do it. You have to get that meal prep and not order out and stay in your calorie count diet? I mean, if I was to order out, it'd be like one burger and not anything else. You feel like when you go home, you're gonna, you think you're start to order out again? So you're not gonna- If I just get one burger mm -hmm. a day. See, I worry about that part. You know, ordering out is gonna be the biggest obstacle that I think that you're gonna have. I feel that if Tammy would stay, we could continue giving her the tools to not order out, to continue just to stick to her diet a little bit longer. I worry about Tammy when there's not somebody there to help her make those good decisions. I'm going to lose weight. I am losing weight. I just need a little faith and willpower. Kelly, do you have any advice on the situation? I just think that she's gonna need people there that can back her up and to help her say no. She's done really good here. The only thing that I was a little worried about, she was talking about ordering out burgers. A Couple times, Tammy cheated, but she feels like she's been given the tools that she can say no to the cheating. I just hope that she continues on the path that she's on here right now. I just want her to do good. She's done so well. I just want her to continue and on the path that she's on, going in the right direction. I think she's gonna need a lot of support. Tammy's an addict, and there's no difference between a food addiction than a heroin addiction. They gotta want to get better. Is it like a new thing to be partying right now? Like, what's going on? I am trying to do self-love, trying to fall in love with myself again find happiness within myself. So, just trying to be happy. That's a good way to be, but there's other outlets you can explore. But what else do I got to do? Oh. Right. The last couple of days, I've been partying with my friends. We've just been drinking, vaping. I don't care. I'm gonna be me. Whether you like it, he likes it, she like it, we all don't like it, I don't care. I'm gonna be me. Same time you want a piece of pizza? Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you. There you go. It's slapping. <laughs> we don't eat healthy, cause for me, if I eat something like pizza or pizza rolls, the bread soaks up the alcohol, and then the grease helps, so we don't get too hungover. So. Two months ago, I decided to go back to Riyadh. I weighed the most I've ever weighed. 717 pounds. No, oh, Anna. It just don't feel good. I was here maybe less than 30 minutes, and my oxygen level dropped. I had to be taken to the hospital. They put me in a medical induced coma. After I woke up, the aide came in. He mentioned the trach and I looked at him like, what the hell? Why am I getting any trach if I'm like breathing on my own? They, you know, told me it was reassured that I had a clear line into my lungs. But something else happened. But I've had a rough time with it. My worst fear is not being able to breathe. By the time the nurse got in there, I was, I was about gone. Literally about gone. Tammy scared us all. She wasn't getting enough oxygen. Everybody came in running and tried everything they can to get her oxygen levels back up. We were able to suction the mucus plug out and she came back up. So we've obviously talked about a lot of different people who are involved in making this decision. Um, and at the end of the day, yeah, it's my decision, but I trust these people. The risk of you staying where you are is far greater than the risk of you having surgery. So your recommendation is what? Let's do surgery. You're approved for Ooh. surgery. Ooh. Oh, check mark. That's Ooh. it. Ooh. That's it. I think I'm in shock. <laughs> 